Nichiren Daishonin, a 13th century Japanese Buddhist monk, believed that having desire is not inherently bad or negative. In fact, he believed that desire can be a powerful motivator for personal growth and development. According to Nichiren Daishonin, the problem with desire is not the desire itself, but rather the attachment to and clinging to that desire. He believed that when we become attached to a desire, we create a sense of self-centeredness and egoism that can lead to suffering. This is because we become so focused on fulfilling our desires that we neglect the needs and well-being of others, which can lead to conflicts and negative consequences. However, Nichiren Daishonin also believed that when we detach from our desires and instead focus on the well-being of others, we can transform our desires into positive motivations for self-improvement and compassion. He taught that by practicing the Lotus Sutra and reciting the phrase, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we can develop a sense of compassion and interconnectedness with all beings, which can help us to detach from our desires and instead focus on the well-being of others. In addition, Nichiren Daishonin believed that by transforming our desires into positive motivations, we can also develop a sense of inner strength and resilience. He believed that when we are motivated by compassion and the well-being of others, we can overcome any obstacles or difficulties that may arise in our lives. Furthermore, Nichiren Daishonin believed that by practicing the Lotus Sutra, we can also develop a sense of wisdom and understanding that can help us to see the true nature of things and to understand the interconnectedness of all things. He believed that this understanding can help us to detach from our desires and instead focus on the well-being of others. In conclusion, Nichiren Daishonin believed that having desire is not inherently bad or negative. However, he believed that the problem with desire is not the desire itself, but rather the attachment to and clinging to that desire. He taught that by practicing the Lotus Sutra and reciting the phrase, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we can develop a sense of compassion and interconnectedness with all beings, which can help us to detach from our desires and instead focus on the well-being of others. Additionally, he believed that by doing so, we can transform our desires into positive motivations for self-improvement and compassion, and develop a sense of inner strength and resilience. Thank you.